Before we begin this video, we just want to speak about our new partnership with the mobile sports app called Locker. Locker is a new sports app whose mission it is to centralise premium sports content and put the power in the hands of fans to personalise their world of sport from sources they love and trust. It's recently launched and is available in UK and Irish app stores. It's free to download and it's great for football fans. So ahead of the internationals, give it a download and let us know what you think. We will be announcing more about this partnership in the coming weeks. But you can go, you can list your favourite club, whether it's in the Premier League, whether it's in the Scottish League, whether it's in League of Ireland. And you can have all your stuff listed in a feed designated to you and you can get push notifications as well to your club. So check it out, it's free to download and the link is in the bio. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the Starting Eleven show for Scotland versus the Republic of Ireland in the UEFA Nations League. I'm not going to complicate things, I'm going to keep it with a very straightforward team that I think you know need to be able to put it up to Scotland as well. So it'll be a bit of a mix of youth and experience here. Going to go with Bazunu back in goal, obviously. Grieving Kelleher played the reverse fixture in the Aviva Stadium. He was excellent, but he's not around this time. And so far, Bazunu has been excellent every time he wore an Irish jersey. So uh, for me, Gavin has to start all day long. He seems to be Stephen's number one anyway. So I'm going straight on in there with uh, Bazunu at number one in goal. Um, I'm going to stay with a three at the back. And I'm going to give you all three of the defenders. Um, start with John Egan. It looks like he's going to be the captain. He was in there with Stephen Kenny. So that kind of says to me that he's going to be the captain tomorrow. Um, if that is the case, I'd have him straight in there, uh, left centre back. Um, in the middle of him, I'd probably have um, Shane Duffy. I kind of hemmed and hawed over that one. I just think that Shane Duffy kind of brings a calmness to this Irish team. He's a point to prove to the Scottish. Um, I know he's not playing at the moment, but every time he's played for Ireland in that kind of situation where he hasn't been playing at club level, it's done him well and he's kind of grown into games and, and grown into, um, I suppose, uh, over the two games, it'll give him some minutes in the legs to bring back then and hopefully get in the squad with Fulham. Um, then beside him, to the right of him, I go with Nathan Collins. Um, you know, and Dara O'Shea can probably feel a little bit um, disappointed there, well, <laughs> though this isn't... Uh, Stephen Kane's team, this is the team I'd like to see. So, yeah, Nathan Collins, he's played that right centre back position. He's good at getting forward if needs be. And, um, you know, he's good with the ball. We saw that against uh, Ukraine as well, that he can carry the ball. Um, I know that was more from a central point of view, but um, he's well able to play that right uh, centre back position and help support the wing backs as well. Um, moving on to the wing backs, I'll go left wing back James McLean. I thought in the game against um, Scotland in the Aviva, he was absolutely excellent. Um, his deliveries into the box, everything about, you know, he came in with a point to prove and, um, you know, Stephen Kenny's been talking about conviction a lot this week and I think um, in that game particularly, um, McLean showed a lot of conviction and, um, you know, proved his worth uh, to the team. Robbie Brady is a good option to have there, uh, maybe off the bench, like maybe against Armenia when we have more of the ball. For this one, I think you need someone like McLean who's going to battle and, um, you know, fly, well, not fly into challenges, but, you know, be there, be physical, uh, be stuck in the challenges. And obviously then he needs to be, be able to kind of provide good deliveries into the box for our strikers and for our forwards. So um, I've gone with him, left wing back, right wing back, Matt Doherty, I think, even though he's not playing at club level, I think he is our best player in that position. I think Seamus Coleman, obviously, better days uh, are behind him. I'm oh, sorry, his best days are behind him in terms of, you know, getting up the pitch and, and being a, a wing back, so to speak. I think his best position at the moment would be like a right centre back. Um, and yeah, I think Seamus would be more than capable if needs be or is called upon. But uh, I think Matt Doherty in this situation, I think um, Antonio Conte had said to Matt Doherty, and he said it in the press conference the other day. Uh, you know, the, the aim is to get him minutes there, obviously after a bad knee injury um, towards the end of last season when he was starting to do well. If he can get himself in maybe a couple of games there, take the fitness back to, to Spurs and hopefully get into the team there. And obviously, he's been very good under Stephen Kenny. And I think, you know, anytime he's fit, Kenny's played him. So I think it makes sense to put him in there. Moving into the midfield, um, you know, I think Josh Cullen, he's, he's the one that, you know, everybody never argues about he's the player that comes in there the number six position he's made that his own from his performances with Anderlecht his consistency and now obviously he's moved to Burnley so he's a bit closer to home so Stephen could probably keep a better eye on him in terms of that but you know someone like Vincent Company is, is, is signing you and bringing you back I think that's uh, that's a compliment in itself so uh, I would go with 
with uh, Josh Cullen there, uh, Jason Malumbi beside him. Um, I think he showed, again, I, I, I spoke about McLean and the bite he brings to the team in terms of getting, being physical, getting stuck in and, um, you know, b being a presence in midfield because I think maybe sometimes Jeff Andrew can lack that, um, you know, in terms of getting stuck in. and. Although Jeff has other qualities in terms of, you know, technically, uh, he might be better than Malumbi. I think Malumbi for this game, he, we need more of a, a physical presence in midfield. And then I'd probably go again with someone with that tenacity as well, Jason Knight, um, just to kind of finish off the midfield. Um, kind of in this weird kind of 3-4-3, three, 3-5-2 three, three, position, that our formation that Stephen Kenny tends to go with. Um, so yeah, Knight again, I think... Um, he can mix in between the three or he can be that extra man in midfield and then we can have the two up top. So I think Jason Knight in there makes sense. I'll be he's playing in League One. I still think um, he's he's shown at the international level his quality time and time again. So I, I put him in there. And then up front, this is a tough one, I'd probably go with Chiodozi Ogbene and um, Michael Obafemi I'm going to go with. Um, I just, I think the Chio's in good, really good form. Um, probably was a bit of a uh, a passenger in the last uh, international window and has a point to prove he's done well so far this this season at Rotherham and uh, I'd like to see him come back in he's got a good number of goals shown a lot of uh, confidence as well in his play and then uh, Michael Obafemi coming into this not really doing so well at club level because of the move to Burnley and how that kind of panned out and he wasn't really um, being considered because the manager thought his head wasn't in it, so this could be a chance for him to prove that his head is in it and uh, he can show his quality by hopefully um, get on the score sheet. And you know, we've seen his quality at the game at the Aviva, so I think um, I think it makes sense to have him in there as well. So that's my team. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll speak to you all soon. Enjoy the game if you're going, and we'll talk to you soon.